What's going on guys, Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise and we are back again for another Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild tutorial. This time we are down south in the region called Faron. It's a bit like um, to, the, to the east of Gerudo. So it's right in the center of the map but right down south. Uh, and we are doing a shrine quest here. So what you have to do is just uh, you've just seen the map that I've showed you. Just go down this road, and you will get to a shrine quest, which is under these rock um, arches, just down here. There will be some rocks here on the right hand side. Don't forget to go and pick up the loot. It's got some flint, some sapphire, so it's worth money. It's worth uh, getting. So if you when you come down here, you see a garden but it's uh, it's not working so you can get a, ge a gear from it and you'll see a girl so just go to her she's next to one of those spheres that you put onto the onto the shrine plates and uh, she will tell you that the sphere is her friend and she really would like to see some guardians if she's seen some guy if she she can see some guardians you know like live ones not the one that's next to her that it's uh, it's uh, deactivated she wants to see them moving. She wants to see pictures of guardians. So your mission is to be a photographer in this uh, shrine quest. You have to go around and take photographs of live guardians. And, you know, some of them you can find them from the top of towers, which is much easier and safer. But others you have to go inside of... Uh, a proper shrine quest like you know those shrine quests that I normally do that are um, um, a modest test of strength or um, a minus sh a test of strength or a major test of strength so you have to go to the central tower so travel to the central tower from where you are from the where the girl is and uh, in there you're going to be able to see a couple of them one of them you don't really need to take a picture of. I just took a picture of because I thought it might be needed, but it's not this one that she's referring to as the scout uh, guardians uh, or a uh, small guardian. This one is a decayed guardian and you don't need this one. So you don't need to take a picture of this one. The one that we're looking for is to the left and he's one of the hunters, hunter guardian, I think it's called. And you need to take a picture. There it is. It looks like a spider. It's a stalker. Yeah, guardian stalker. So you need to take a picture of this guy here. And that's your first picture done. Another picture that we're missing is the flying ones. And another one is the small guardian. So we're going to go for the flying ones. We've got to go all the way to the tower and near the Death Mountain. It's called the Akala Tower. So travel over to the Akala Tower. And here we're going to find the flying ones. So... In these ones they're moving about so you need to be um, quick taking that photograph because they move from side to side and it's hard to get a uh, good shot uh, so there's two here you can just take a quick snap of one of them they're both the same so this one is called guardian skywalker skywatcher sorry guardian skywatcher so um, you need to take a quick snap of that one. And now for the final one, it's in the Oman Au Shrine, which is in the Hyrule region. You need to travel over to that one because this one is the only one I could find that you could actually get the garden inside. There's some mobs outside, so just make sure that you run inside quickly and go down uh, in order to get away from the baddies outside. Once you get inside, inside of the shrine, <laughs> pardon me, my English is just rubbish today. Once you get inside, you see two plates. So use your uh, magnesis and move them out of the way. I still have my camera selected, but use the magnesis and move them both out of the way. And uh, there will be some stairs or leathers going down to the bottom. So you need to walk down there. Don't need to move the second plate, but I just thought about moving for the fun of it. So go down. And keep walking all the way up until you um, until you see some stones, like stones and two um, metal cubes. One is behind you. You don't need it. Don't need to go and get it. I just picked it up, but 
<coughs> it's not needed for this shrine. You've already completed the shrine most likely, like I did, but you don't need it. Throwing bombs at it, look, that is a proper failure, throwing bombs like that. Okay, throwing bombs at it, it makes no sense. Just grab the cube that is in the in the inside of the rocks, or in, in between the rocks, and just move all the rocks out of the way if you want. Okay, the guardian is right behind this rock, so you have to be careful because he shoots lasers, and you and once he detects that you're there, you have to be quick. I took a snap here, wasn't really happy with it, not my best shot. I am a photographer by trade, and I really didn't like this one. I wanted to get a clear shot of it, because if I didn't, there might be a chance that uh, the the girl might not accept the photo, and then obviously I would have to come all the way down here, which is um, not advisable, having to do the shrine again. So what I did, as I climbed the rocks, I went all the way to the other side, and I took a snap of it, just like that, and that's perfect. That That's the snap you want. Uh, so it's the Guardian Scout 1, and we've got all the photographs now. You can kill it. You can really get out of the shrine right now if you want to. I decided to go all the way after, all the way till the end, uh, but you don't have to. Um, so in this area here, you can't reach the two doors to so just grab a couple of blocks. I've sped up most of this video just so you guys wouldn't be bored with um, all the messing around. Um, I could have just got out of the shrine. So open the doors and you go inside and in here you'll tell you that uh, if you're ready to exit the shrine. So exit the shrine now and go straight down to the to the bottom to the foreign region because it's better to travel directly down there without confronting any mobs and once you reach there i've sped up most of this video as well so you guys won't won't get bored with this uh all you need to do is grab yourself a horse there's going to be some horses down here near this lake so uh just grab yourself a horse it will make your life much easier they're easy to get just chase after them and it, they're easy to get. So go make all your way down, don't hit any walls, M make all your way down to the bottom again to where the shrine plate is. And now we're gonna show the pictures to the lady so she can get away from Roscoe, which is what she named that ball. And, um, and we can get the ball and get the shrine out of the ground. And that will complete our shrine quest. Jumping off a horse like that is just amazing. Okay, so we've got all the free pictures. It's worth noting that the pictures that you need have got an exclamation mark in them. So if you haven't got them, if by the last one you haven't got them, so just make sure that you get all the right pictures in order to come down here, or just follow my walkthrough completely and, and you should have no problems. So now she's saying that she wants to see them. She is amazed with the Guardian, so she gets away from the ball quickly. And this is our chance to grab it and to put it in the shrine plate so the shrine can come out of the ground. And uh, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you're really enjoying these videos. I've put a lot of effort into releasing all of the uh, shrines and shrine quests. I've got uh, one more to release for today, which is called Spring of Power. I hope you... Oh, sc sorry. This Spring of Courage. I've already done Spring of Power. Uh, which is another one of the shrine quests. It's quite a tough one and it's in, it involves a dragon and stuff. But I really hope you're enjoying this video. If you do enjoy the videos, if you if you can take anything positive and leave me a comment and maybe give me a thumbs up, I really appreciate that. It makes all the difference. And also, if you want to subscribe for more content like this, I am releasing these videos constantly. And it's really, um, really nice of you guys to, you know, comment on my videos and ask me questions, ask me anything you like about the, the shrine itself. And, you know, any tips that I might give you, I will definitely leave a comment in, in the section below. So thank you very much for watching, guys. This is it for this video. I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.